If you are interested in learning more about Blender 3D, then check out our Masterclass Introductory course available over at our website, baileygraphics.com. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone beginning on their Blender journey with over eight hours of content, all for absolutely free. So if you're interested in starting your journey in learning how to use Blender, then check out the link in the video description. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how you can manipulate Blender to only render a small section of your scene in the rendered view. This is going to be very useful for those of you who want to use the Cycles render engine to render your images, but you don't have the most powerful of machines. So when you view an entire scene, it takes an extremely long time to render in rendered view. This is going to help alleviate some of that by allowing you to focus on a specific part of your scene. So to create a render region, we need to first of all create a border. Now to create a border, we hold down control and then press B in our viewport. You will see we have a horizontal and vertical line that intersect at the position of our mouse cursor. We're going to left click and drag to create our border. So say if I wanted it to be this size, drag it up to the size and then release the left mouse button. Now all that appears to have happened at the moment is we have created a border that now appears red. It doesn't appear to have done anything to our 3D viewport other than that. And that's because of two things. First of all, we're in solid view. So we need to go from solid view to rendered view. Then you'll see the second issue. The entire scene still appears to be rendering. That's because we're currently using the EV render engine. Now creating borders for your render region in rendered view is not really required in Eevee because it's a lot less taxing on your computer anyway, at least with the default settings. Where this really comes into play is when we switch over to cycles. So come to the properties panel, make sure you're on the render properties tab, left click where it says Eevee, and then select cycles. As soon as you do that, you will see that Blender is now only rendering what can be seen through your created render region. Anything outside of your render region doesn't appear to render. We can just about see the outline compared to the Blender grid, but it's almost impossible to see certain objects. For example, I believe the Suzanne object is around here but we can't see it at all because it's basically blended in with our plane. If we orbit our view, however, eventually we will be able to see our other objects depending on how we orbit our view. We can also zoom and pan as well. So the render region tool does not affect your ability to navigate the 3D viewport. It only isolates a part of your view for rendering in rendered view. This tool is only used in the viewport itself. It has no effect on the actual render of your image. So if you attempt to render the image, it is going to render as normal.